So now what I'm going to do after I have my text converted into a table is I want to show you guys how to merge the top cells here. And oh, first I need to change the font. So I'm going to select everything with my type tool and then just change the font to um, minion, Myriad Pro Condensed. So type in Myriad, hit tab to go down to the style and hit con type condensed and then enter. Okay, so that's all I do is I'm changing the font and then I got to merge cells. Um, so I highlight these three cells. Okay, and there's different ways to make selections in tables. Um, one thing to be aware of is that the table itself is uh, it's like a acts like a piece of text. So within this type frame, so you can see that this this table doesn't actually fill up the entire frame. If you want to adjust the frame itself, then you actually pull the frame to the side um, with the you have to use the selection tool. That was the main thing. So in order to adjust the frame, um, you you just use the selection tool just like before. Um, text frame options are still the same. So if I hit up, pull up the text frame options, I go Command B or Control B on a PC, then you can change the alignment of the table within it. For example, centering it um, to the bottom, top. So basically, it acts like a piece of text. The whole table moves accordingly. Um, if I cancel this. You can select the whole thing just like text, but you have to be in type mode. So remember, anytime you want to make an adjustment to your table, you can also type after after the the table. Whoops, and I just deleted the table by hitting backspace. So it does act like a piece of type. And you, every time you want to make an adjustment, you have to make sure you're not in the selection tool, but rather in the type tool. Something to remember, I kept trying to adjust, make selections of cells using the selection tool, but it's the type tool. Um, what's another thing? Oh yes, there's different ways to select the table, parts of the table. So if you want to select a column, just um, hover your mouse above until you see the arrow that's pointing down. If you want to select a row, hover your mouse to the right or left of the column, or row, <laughs> sorry guys, until you see the arrow that's pointing to the row. And then if you want to select the whole table really fast, go up to the top left corner of the table until you see this like diagonal arrow pointing down and then click and then it selects the whole table. And selecting cells um, and selecting, making that distinction between selecting the whole cell and selecting just the text for typing um, is a little bit subtle. So if I just select grade, the word grade, then I'm selecting the text. But if I go a little bit beyond, I think, there we go. Now I've selected the whole cell. So there's a difference. So what I want to do is um, select the top three, the whole row. The top three cells is the whole row. And then um, I want to merge these using my control panel. Let's see if I can find out where that is. Oh yes, as you can see, the control panel has changed its options to adjust to the table. Um, there's this icon here called Merge Cells, and if I just click on it, now the cells are merged, and then also I can use my paragraph options here to center it and um, make it bold if I want to. Um, I think I'm going to make the first couple of lines bold, so let me just select the next cells here and then hit condense bold. There we go. There we go. Oh, and I want it all centered actually. So you can quickly center. It's pretty it's pretty intuitive, I think. Um, also we're gonna center the second and third column as well, same way. And then there's something really cool here. You can actually turn your text upside down, sideways. But anyway, I'm going to leave it in the regular mode. Um, what else? Oh yeah, this is, there's all these options to center it within the cell, but because the cells are so small, you can't really tell that it's, it's whether it's centered or not. So 